Welcome. So, today I will be showing you how to make a Apache, um, sorry, an Apache server alongside with PHP. Now, what you're going to want to, actually, something I would recommend is X, let me see, it is, um, this. This is just a package. It has everything that you need. This is what I would recommend first. But if for some reason you would like to um, make it yourself, or not if for some reason, but if you would like to start it all from scratch, you can go to httpd.apache.org, click on download from Amir, scroll down to this, or scroll down to the latest version, click binaries. Win32. We are going to click this one with open SSL. And I would have downloaded it, but I already downloaded it. I messed up on um, making this one, this tutorial, a few minutes ago. Um, because of too much noise in the background, so I had to redo it. But you're going to want to run the installer. Next, I, as, I see, as you can see, um, it'll. If you already have one installed, it will ask you to remove it. Um, that will be done in a second. And there. So, you're going to have a new one. Here. We'll click next. Read this, please. Read this, please, too. And these are blurred out, but it, it should automatically fill in some good information here. But you should overlook it. I'm going to do port 80, typical installation. I'm going to change the directory to servers Apache and that install. And this should ask you for security permission to install it. And it will install files wherever you um, chose it to. And I will be right back when it's done installing. Okay. And it's, yeah. Okay, so once it is completed, you can click finish, and you will now have this. The, this will automatically start your service for you. You will have a new thing here. Apache Service Monitor. So now, htdocs is where you can put all your code. Now what you want to do is local host. If it, and if any ports were specified, you can do colon and then the ports, such as any of these. So, now what you want to do for PHP is you will want to actually I need Apache service monitor still and if you ever need to open it it should install something right here and now open it as a monitor and we should stop that for now and it will ask for permission if this was the first time so that will stop and what we are going to do is we are going to download PHP. We are going to go all the way down to the bottom for the installer. We are going to get thread safe. And this one takes some time to download, so I'll be back. Okay, so PHP has downloaded. So now what we are going to do is we are going to create a new folder. You can put this wherever you want. It's called PHP. It can be just like that, however you want. And now we're going to open the installer. And now, once the installer opens, we will remove the current version so I can get a nice clean install. And it will ask you for security. Okay, so now once that is done, we can click finish and restart it. 
Next, you should always read this. We are going to browse for where we are going to put this. Servers, Apache, PHP, OK. And we will install Apache 2.2 module. And we are going to find the Apache configuration directory, which is Apache conf. And that is where it is. Um, now, some good ex ah, extensions are the default extensions are always what you're going to want to have, along with S SQLite is always good. Extras, why not? Next, install. So this will take a few seconds. You will get a security warning, and then you can go on. And OK, you can click finish. Okay, so now once you have done that, you can start your Apache service again, and now it should say PHP with it. Um, yeah, okay. And some of these have other things, but these are all special different things. And you can go to localhost again, still see it works. And now I made some more files. I changed it to the uh, .php extension. Let's do slash php info .php. And now it will tell you a bunch of information about PHP. So now you can just look, you can see the environment, anything that you want. And yeah, so yeah, a lot of the time you'll get the time zone error, but that's normal. So don't worry about that. You can see all the info on your PHP extensions. This is a long file. And okay, so there you go hope this helped and yeah patchy server well it works now let's see if php works and it works so that should be all um again i i would recommend x a m p p it stands for something i have no idea sorry um Well, it has all the PHP my admin, Perl, Tomcat. It has basically every element a web server would need in one thing just installed already for you. So, that should be all. Thank you. And, hope this helps.